Hello everyone, today I'm playing Mother 3 again. Last time I made my way through the whole Empire Porky building. And now I think I'm finally about to meet the man himself. Let me just check. Oh my. For some reason I'm not at full health even though... Even though there's a healing machine right here that I would have thought I would have used last time, but never mind. So let's... Proceed. So it seems rather ominous. Yeah, I think I can't remember if this is a real 100 floor. I'm pretty sure it is actually. The beginning of the end. The end of everything. <gasps> there he is! Let's be friends. I'm Porky. I'm really just this meek little boy. Please dote over me more. Please talk to me like good boys and girls. You know, just like me. How about no? That's not very nice now, is it? Actually, I'm not very nice either. It was a decoy! What a twist. Porky01 and its cohorts. Okay, let's see. Let's try using PK Starstorm just for the heck of it. Uh, so, I'm not sure exactly what is... You know, actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use shields actually, just in case. I'm like 102% certain he can't. These robots can't use PSI, so I'm not gonna bother with the PSI field. And let's just see what I can do about this then. So it's more difficult with multiple targets, also. Maybe I should defense up next time as well. Just in case. Oh yeah. Oh no. That's not good. I had a feeling there'd be something like that. Please let me... Please, please, go, please go. Oh no. I'd really like to heal Kumatora before she dies. Okay, good. I'll go for that. Yeah, let's not use PK Starstorm again. The shields are definitely helping, I reckon. Um, okay, let's defense up everyone. Then after all, offense up everyone because I can't really rely on PSI anymore. Okay. Uh, let's use another pencil rocket. It's annoying when they generate these explosions do a lot of damage. I'll probably laugh up everyone actually. But then again, Bony might even die before then. I was about to say, especially if Porky 3 does another mechanical explosion. And Lucas' the shield has vanished already. Let's life up everyone and use regular attack. Uh, regular attack. And let's have Boney heal himself. Actually, let's have Duster heal Boney with a double jerky. And let's have Boney use a pencil rocket. Oh, wait, never mind. This pencil rocket might kill one of them. Oh, never mind. I was about to say, this pencil rocket might kill one of them and cause an explosion and it will kill Boney, but never mind. Well, at this point, I probably didn't need to use that jerky just then. I didn't expect uh, expect Lucas to go so fast. Never mind. I do remember this fight being pretty difficult, to be fair. Oh, it seems like there's not many more to do now, though. So, maybe it won't be that bad. What was I doing? Offense up. Oh, 
Oh, I have no pencil rockets. I have a sprinting bomb now, which I haven't used since the beginning of the game. I mean, I'm not saying I had that at the beginning of the game, I'm saying I haven't used a sprinting bomb since then. Because I've been mostly relying on pencil rockets for burning. Thirteen. That's pretty decent. Actually, it's really good. I think. Not really much I can do except just do my basic bash attacks. They're not really proving that much of a challenge after all. And I'm fairly certain there's more than this. There is. Yeah, see. Porky06 joined the fight. Help arrived. With the help of these minor robot and this screw. So these are really, really early enemies. I feel like I probably want to get rid of them soon. Let's have Lucas heal everyone, just in case. Yeah, that's dead already. Easy. <coughs> ah. This is getting annoying. I didn't realise that screw looses were capable of using PSI. That's actually very surprising. Oh, that's a very low damage. I was actually focusing on the Porky robot, but never mind. It'll die eventually. You know what, those, those enemies do very little damage, let's just focus on the robot instead. Never mind. But there's another one. Whoops. Uh. Well, I didn't mean to attack that, never mind, it's dead. I guess once you defeat the main Porky robots like I've done, they just start calling for help. I'm pretty sure they never run out or something. Like that. Unless they run out now. Ah, here's more. One after the other, even more pe Mecha Porkies join the fight. I don't know why I struggled to do that. Well, that wasn't so bad. All of a sudden, some guys rushed into the room. It was the DCMC. Batio jumped out in front. I don't, I don't know why it's just telling me all this. Tom Degosa, I still hate that. Dramatic climaxes are when unruly, unruly dudes like us get to shine. Batio attacks. That did a lot of damage. I don't know what I said. Shimmy, Miz or something. Seems this Master Porky guy was trying to use us to brainwash everyone. I say it's high time we screw up his idiotic plans. Shimmy's a Miz. Zmiz. Magic jumps out in front. Ha! We ain't gonna let this Porky freak have his way. Seems they're not doing their explosions anymore. We're gonna make you pay for the bad stuff you've done. Get ready, it's punishment time! Yeah, that wasn't so bad. That's like an exact copy of one part of Earthbound where like you're fighting a robot and then like this band comes along and fights it for you. Come Boney. Lucas, this is it. This is finally it. Oh, I've just seen my dad for the first time in like three years. And it's just treated as like, yep, he's here now. Yep, no big deal. Have you managed to corner the enemy or have we all been dragged here? Hmm, I suppose it doesn't matter either way. Right, Duster? Everyone is here. It's like it's like the Smash Ultimate of the Mother series. And Porky's not even in that game. Cough, wheeze, cough. Come a little closer so I can see your face better. Oh, is that what you look like? I was the one who brought you here. A traveller who has journeyed to and from past and future. I'm the most clever, most charming, and most troublemaking boy ever. Master Porky Minch. 
a strange name. I welcome you once again, you weak hangers on pretending to be the last survivors of this world. Spankety, spankety, spankety. Ha ha ha. resorted to blanking your memories to create a new world where humanity's past failures would never be repeated. How stupid can you be? No matter how much you change the rules, no matter how much you refuse to admit defeat, in the end the creatures known as people will always sign their own death warrants by acting out of stupidity and evil, and then mankind will be gone for good. You could have been happy if only you would have done as I did, and obediently followed the visionary selfish desires of a great hero. <coughs> that's, that's my wheeze noise. <laughs> Why is it you struggle to cling to life with such puny minds, pitiable bodies, and feeble hearts? Well, no matter. The curtain is about to fall on this pathetic little play of yours, because soon the power of power will be mine. The world and everything in it has been my oyster so far, and now I'll end it by acquiring the ultimate power. Ah ha 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 ha! Cough, cough, gasp. Woo! Though everything so far has been fun and games, I've given you many a concession. I was bought out. I was bored out of my mind and wanted to play something more thrilling. You see. But now that we're face to face like this, I won't hold anything back. My slave, my lifeless son will pull the final needle for me. And the moment he does, the dragon should awaken and do as I want. At which time I assume you fools will turn into garbage or dust or something, and finally disappear for good. <laughs> I'll admit that is kind of sad. But I would be crushed under the weight of boredom if there was any other way. <clears throat> Gasp. I might as well just say the words, it's less embarrassing. Do you understand now? Do you understand the, ma the sadness Master Porky bears now that he's godlike? Haha, <laughs> cough. What a sad state of existence. Oh, you love your dra little dramatic plays, so this couldn't have come at a better time for you. It seems the seventh and final needle has just been located deep underground below here. It's Dr. Andonus from Earthbound. I refuse to help you anymore. Ah. Ah ha ha ha. I assume you want to pull it too, right, Lucas? Why not go and check it out then? I'm even being fair enough to tell you where it is. That really will make this game all the more fun. But I think I'll use my shortcut to give myself a head start if you don't mind. Ha ha ha. Cough. <coughs> that was an actual cough. Gasp. Bring it on, if you can catch up to me, that is. Here you can use this elevator all you want. Spankety, spankety, spankety. Wheeze. Whoa, even Flint's here. I forgot to play as him and he still had his chapter one stats. That'd be truly useless. Although he's been grinding against those crag, um, what they call crag lizards in the mountains for three years. But it's probably level 99 by now. It's a pretty deep elevator. Now this is going to be the actual final area of the game. Lucas. Lucas, there's something that's, that has me concerned. Could you let me go on ahead first? I'm sure. Thanks, don't ask why. But if it seems like I've been gone a long time, then go ahead and keep going. You gonna go? Okay, I mean, I was doing that. You didn't have to stop me. What's that? 
Yeah. I don't know why I didn't. I don't know why I stopped going down the ladders then. Oops. This doorknob seems familiar. Oh no! That's the doorknob that came off Flint's door at the beginning of the game. Pretty sure it makes cameos in every single chapter. Incredibly enough, there was a hot spring inside the box. That's not so convenient. No. Ah, yes. It's the cave of the past. Actually, it's not called that in this game. But I seem to be strong enough to handle these fine. The Fenomeno? Is that what it's called? Nice and easy. I'm pretty sure they drop like magic puddings and stuff as well. Yes, I was right. I don't need to fire these then. Oh, this time I had no choice. Phenomeno. I might actually beat the game in this part, maybe. Oh no, I just realised Bony has no more pencil rockets. Oh well. You won't need them. I'm pretty sure Master Porky himself is actually disappointing easy, from what I remember. Minerali, min min minerary, minerally. I don't know. Not that bad. I mean, it's not dead yet, so maybe it will be that bad. I don't know. Yeah, I definitely. I'm pretty sure I did too much grinding because none of the rest of the game is really providing an actual challenge anymore. To be honest, even though they're really easy though, it's pretty tedious having to fight all these enemies. Yeah, I would fight the enemies, except I'm definitely strong enough at this point. Oh no, it's Flint's hat! And he's bold! That, that masked man, he's Klaus. Lucas, he's your brother. Klaus, I don't know why he's obeying this porky guy, but as a father, I finally found the son I lost. Lucas, be happy. I finally, finally found your brother. The final needle. Lucas, make sure you pull it. I'll catch up with you in a bit. Don't worry about me, just hurry to the needle. What the hell does Flint know about needles anyway? Also, yeah, that's the that's the big twist of the game. That the masked man is actually Klaus. Um, I kind of knew that before I first played this, so I'm not sure if that was obvious or not. It probably was. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not sure if it was meant to be obvious, or if you were meant to believe that he was lost in the mountain all these years. And that Flint was just looking for him all that time.
Pretty sure this is Lucas's final weapon. A real bat. I'm fairly certain it's more powerful than a mystical stick. It is. So I'm going to drop the mystical stick now. Wait, you know, I need to go into my goods to drop in all the equipment. So... Real bat. Okay. It's just like the bat that Ness uses. Whoa, it all comes together like a beautiful tapestry. I really want a healing spot. Also, what's the point in this bit down here? I don't know. I probably don't need a healing spot. <clears throat> stop, stop, stop right there. This really is no time for games anymore. I don't feel like letting you go any further. If you're after the needle, then don't worry. My adorable little monster is on its way to it as we speak. Wheeze. Gasp. Huh? That monster's name is Klaus? Its name was Klaus? That almost sounds like a person's name. But now it's my robot. Not even a fragment of life remains inside it. It's Master Porky's slave robot. It does whatever I say. It acts on my will alone. It's my double. It doesn't know anything about who you are. Cough. Porky blocked the way. Okay, let's see then. Let's try PSI shield. I don't know. Uh, I'm not sure what exactly is good against Porky. I just remember him being pretty easy. BK ground. Any any attacking items left? No. What did Porky do? It's like Gygus's incomprehensible attacks. And he fell over and can't do anything. It's pathetic. Actually, I'm not sure if PSI Shield would block against Porky's incomprehensible attack. Never mind. Let's just life up everyone. And use PK ground again. Actually, let's use um, Tickle Stick. Yeah. This might be my favourite battle theme in the game as well. Also, I like how, like, even when he's on the ground he can't use PSI or something. Which he's clearly capable of doing. Because those incomprehensible attacks are usually PSI. And I'm not sure if the game... Let me fill you in on something. No matter how much you attack me, I'll never die. Even if I somehow wind up beaten, I'll never die. But you didn't know that, did you? Okay. Porky got up and used a PSI counter. That's not good. I haven't. Okay, it didn't work. It's pathetic. Come on. He coughed something up that decreased my offense and defense. Uh, oh, did that for everyone, apparently. What the hell did he cough up? I've gone through time and space so many times that I haven't aged like a normal person. Who knows, I might be a thousand years old, or even ten thousand years old. But despite that, I'm still the same kid at heart. Is that funny? It is, isn't it? Does it make you laugh? Cough. Are you laughing at me? It's a PSI counter device. Didn't work. God, he's... he's not very good. Also, I thought the incomprehensible attack would attack everyone. Never mind. If the dragon wakes up, it might end up destroying everything and extinguishing all life. Even so... Ha 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 ha. That's my fake laugh. Even so, I'll be alive. Me and the dragon will be the only things left alive in the whole wide world. I'm more than ready for that possibility. Ha ha ha. Cough. With my eternal life, I'll see the world through to its end. Until everyone who won't like me is gone. Kumato is running low on PSI. Okay, I've got just a thing for that.
Maybe it'll be more fun to watch if I stop spamming PK Cloud. And he fell over again. Thank you for playing along with me all the way to the end like this. I'm actually a pretty nice guy, wouldn't you say? <laughs> I'm really terrible at doing fake laughs. Porky fell over and can't move. He's just a pathetic old man now. Oh, and he's dead. I mean, he's not dead. He can't die, but like... He's beaten. I'll never die. I'll never die. Nor will I ever be beaten. But it appears my machine has run out of energy for the moment. Aha. Lucas. You haven't won, just so you know. I'm going to duck inside this absolutely safe capsule for the time being. When I'm inside, no attack will have any effect on me whatsoever. I'm sure you're thinking to yourself, yeah right, there's no such thing as absolutely safe. But there is such a thing. And it's this. The absolutely safe capsule I tricked Dr. Andernuts and the Mr. Saturns into making for me. 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 All for me. Cough. Pocky sealed himself inside the absolutely safe capsule. The absolutely safe capsule doesn't do anything. Inside the absolutely safe capsule, Porky is sticking his tongue out at you. Because Porky is sealed inside the absolutely safe capsule. The battle is, by definition, over. Oh my! As evil as old Porky here is, I feel bad for him now. It's true that the absolutely safe capsule that the Mr. Saturns and I developed together can protect one from any manner of danger. It is an absolutely safe capsule, but once you enter it, you can never exit it. Even what's outside of the absolutely safe capsule is absolutely safe. I did tell Porky in a hushed voice that he shouldn't use it yet. But all he can do now is live through eternity inside the capsule, in absolute safety. Who knows, in a way he may have gotten exactly what he wanted. What do you think? Is it wrong of me to think this way? No. It's not wrong, you say? I wonder. I somehow get the feeling it is. Porky is sticking his tongue out at you from inside the absolutely safe capsule. I didn't mean to. I meant to talk to the hand us. Want to roll him around a bit? No, no, it's okay. It is absolutely safe after all. Holy roly. Wee roly roly. Okay, that's Porky handled then. Still the matter of the needle though. And the mysterious masked man. I mean, not really a mystery anymore. I didn't even get any XP from that fight. Uh, from the Porky fight because I didn't actually beat him technically. Do you need something? Okay. I am the final frog in the game. It's been such a short time though it seems long too. In any case, thank you for your continued patronage throughout it all. For me and all the other frogs, frogs I thank you. Hop. Teardrop. I was thinking of ending the part here, but I think I might just continue till the end now. Because the end is very, very close. However, during my first playthrough, I did actually lose against the Masked Man, even though it's kind of difficult, meant to be difficult to lose against it. It's kind of just... It's not really so much a fight as it is just a story moment. I normally don't want my videos to go too long because it makes them a hassle to export when I'm editing my voice in. I suppose I'll make an exception for this one.
Lucas's phantom badge reflected the masked man's lightning back at him. Okay, the masked man took damage from the lightning bolt. Now, during my first playthrough, I tried healing everyone. But if you do that, the masked man just kills them all straight away anyway, so... Just try attacking him. For some reason, Lucas couldn't attack. The masked man attacks. For some reason, Lucas couldn't attack. The mass man attacks. All right. Oh, thank God he missed. Oh, never mind. He didn't miss that time. So this fight... For some reason, Lucas couldn't attack. Yeah, it's because he's all sad. So for this fight, what you're supposed to do is basically just keep healing yourself. The annoying thing about the masked man is that he can attack twice in one turn. And he does a lot of damage. And if I try using a shield, he'll just... He has a shield killer which can just negate it. For some reason Lucas couldn't attack. Luckily I've got a couple of those memento items so I can withstand a couple of deaths, basically. If I happen to not be able to heal in time. That's man use a shield killer. Well again, you know, I didn't bother trying to use a shield. PK game. Lucky like strength then. Oh wow, that does a lot of damage. I mean I knew that because I use it often. Lucas! That's my ghost voice. I, I mean, ghost? Did I just spoil it? Whoa, never mind. It's not really a ghost anyway, it's more like... It's more like a guardian angel, I suppose. From somewhere, you heard someone call your name. For some reason, Lucas couldn't attack. Not a problem. Lucky um, the Earthbound games have that rolling HP meter, otherwise this would be a lot harder. Klaus. I forgot about him, he's still lost in the mountains. What are you calling his name for? It was Hinawa's voice. It failed to reach the masked man. For some reason Lucas couldn't attack. Yeah, I knew that. But I'm not sure if the, it only progresses when you try to attack, so that's why I'm just doing it sometimes, just in case. So I can hear a bunch of Discord notifications and they're kind of ruining the emotion of the scene. For some reason Lucas couldn't attack. Never mind. Klaus. Stop. This. You aren't Porky's robot. You're our son. The masked man looked around. Yeah. 
it's a bit of a short answer that. It's lucky it's not like Mother 1 where like, whenever you want to use PSI you have to go through the menu to find it every time. Here it just remembers what PSI used last. Lucky the HP stops rolling down whenever, like, the emotional, you know, spirits of an hour speaking to them thing happens as well. Right now. Wait, no, not right now. Never mind. PK game. Lucas, look out! Flint jumps in front of Luke. I could have withstood it, you know. It dealt major damage to Flint. There was no need for that. I could have just used life up again. Klaus, please remember. I've been looking for you for so long. Flint suffered major damage. Flint couldn't stand up. I would say I'm surprised he can withstand it, but he has been grinding in the mountains, so he's probably level 99 now. game alpha. Oh, I actually attacked. Probably because because he attacked Flynn. I forgot that that actually worked. Never mind. Maybe a good whack around the head is what he needed. Lucas. Stop. Stop fighting. It's annoying that the text is appearing so slow. Stop fighting. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad I actually continued now because this probably wouldn't have been long enough for a for a own video. And that was voice. Sadly echoed. Oh no, I probably, probably would have been a better idea to use that time to heal. Never mind. Do it now. It's fine. TV. Klaus. You and Lucas are brothers. Now would probably be a good time for me to show some emotion in my voice. Unfortunately, that's not going to happen. Oh, nice. Yeah, I forgot it would get to a point where, like, I could actually attack him back. I thought the whole time Lucas would not, just not be able to bring himself to lay a hand on his brother. Can you hear me? You're Klaus. Your name is Klaus. You're our son.
I'm really worried I'm going to run out of PSI. I'm not be able to heal anymore. I mean, Kumatora has all that PP that she's not going to be able to use because she's dead. I mean, not dead, but passed out. Please. Remember. Lucas. Klaus. To think we will be blessed with two children at once. I bet they'll accomplish things together that they couldn't alone. I'm sure they'll argue a lot too. And I can see them helping each other out when they need it. Klaus. And Lucas. I bet we'll mix them up a lot until they get bigger. Klaus. And Lucas, huh? How do you want them to grow up to be? To be kind, just like you. Oh. Oh, I was just gonna say. To be kind, just like you. Oh, it makes me want to vomit. Great, then it's decided. Klaus. Lucas. Make us proud. I wonder how long my recordy thing can record for. I hope it doesn't stop. Lucas shuts his eyes tightly. Oh, that's not good. I expected him to stop as well, but his attacks are weaker. The masked man gazed at Lucas. Lucas shuts his eyes tightly. I hope that scene wasn't meant to be like Klaus remembering, because he couldn't possibly remember that. The masked man covered his ears. More of his laser sword and arm cannon. Lucas wanted to cry. Oh, it's adorable. <laughs> Klaus. 
Klaus. Klaus. Klaus. Come to your mother. You must be so exhausted. Come here, Klaus. The masked man looked around as if searching for something. Oh, I thought he was like a robot now. The masked man removed his mask. Now he's just the man. His face looked just like Lucas's. It was Klaus. What? What a twist. Klaus fired an intense bolt of lightning. Lucas's Franklin badge reflected the lightning back. Klaus took mortal damage. Klaus staggered towards Lucas. I wish I could see this instead of just reading it. Klaus embraced Lucas. Again, this would have been nice to actually see, but never mind. Lucas remembered Klaus's smell. <laughs> oh, this is this is getting pretty uh, corny. This video might end up being an hour. I'm sorry it turned out like this. I'm really happy you could be with me just before the end. Thanks. Dad, I'm sorry I didn't listen to you. I'm going to where mom is now. Lucas, I hope we meet again someday. Yeah, I hope you die, Lucas. Bye. Thank you. I'm sorry. I'm sure we'll meet again. Klaus gave his final breath. Lucas, thank you. Klaus was just hasty, that's all. You'll forgive your hasty brother, won't you? Alright, this is it. The time has come for you to pull the dragon's last needle. Are you ready? Both Hanaro and Klaus have entrusted fate to you. Believe in yourself and pull that final needle. Nothing needs to be sealed away anymore. Let's make the dark dragon sealed underground our new friend. Pass your heart onto the dragon. Pray to it from the bottom of your heart. Ask it to protect all life in this world. Me and everyone else, we all believe in you. So now you need to believe in yourself. Now go. The dragon is waiting to wake up. Your life and the lives of all who believe in you. Will you put it all on the line and pull the final needle? I mean, now that Porky and Klaus are gone, I mean, there's really no need. <laughs> yeah, this video is probably going to go over an hour and end up being my longest video ever. It's gonna be 
black paint to export and upload. Whoops, I just pulled my headphone out. Well, this doesn't seem so much like a happy ending. So what happens to the dinosaurs? Oh god, that's horrific. What a tragedy. E N D. End question mark. No, I'm pretty sure that's like the definitive end of the series. Never mind. What do I do now? Oh, I forgot. I can move around. Ow! Watch where you're walking. Can't you see where you're going? It's okay. This isn't a dream. Um, it's a miracle, a real miracle. It seems everyone's all right. I thought everyone was about to be destroyed, but everyone is alive. The only way to describe it is as a miracle. Did the dragon's revival give power to all life? That's what people say. That nearly scared me to death. But I guess this is what they mean by a crisis gone is easily forgotten. In any case, everyone's just peachy keen now. That was scary. That was the very definition of scary. I wonder where I'm walking to. Say, are you Kane? It's my real name. Ugh. Oh, you're okay. That's great. What a relief. Hey, everybody. Kane is over here and doing just fine. I don't want to hear my real name. Ugh. Kane, Lucas said he wanted to meet you. Thank you so much for everything, and for helping Lucas and the others. This world might have been completely destroyed had it not been for you. To be honest, I was so scared the moment Lucas pulled the last needle. I did have faith though. I had faith, but I felt a kind of fear so bad that I almost expected my entire body to blow apart. But as you can see, everyone is just fine. We've regained something incredibly immense. 
Don't know why, but I can't stop my tears from coming out. What is this feeling? What could it be? This is the first time I've ever seen you cry, Kumatora. You're really cute now that I look. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop it, stop it, stop stepping on me. Even mole crickets are living creatures too, you know. Poke, poke. Hee <laughs> hee. Who poked you in the back? Guess who? Incidentally, I'm Wes. And it wasn't me. I'm Alec. I didn't poke you in the back, Kane. He's playing innocent, but Wes was the one who did it. We're both alive and well. Isn't that right? We're both well. Oh, I guess I'm not controlling Lucas now. I guess I'm controlling myself. Oxygen? Oh, have we met somewhere before? Me? My name is Rope Snake. I was just considering living a quiet life as a snake rope now. If you happen to find that kind of sad, then please talk to me and say thanks. And your jaw saved us all. No ordinary snake could have done that. Nor would an ordinary rope. This conversation is turning out to be long, just like the snake I am. But I'm pleased to make your acquaintance. Kane, was it? I'll be certain to catch to etch that name into my mind. Have a good new year. Have a good new year. Now that my saving job is over, I think I'll settle down and take care of the tadpoles. Thank you for everything. No, wait, it's the other way round. Tripped down. Tripped down, hit nose on ground. I'm doing well too. Where am I going? You touch something rolling around. The rolling thing wobbles with glee. I assume that's Porky in the absolutely safe capsule. There seems to be something inside, but you can't really tell what it is. Your foot hits something small and round. It's a doorknob. I finally picked up the doorknob. What do I do? Oh, Kane. Thanks. I feel so utterly, incredibly thankful for everything you've done. It was weird saying my name so many times. Thanks for everything. I wish we could always be together. We just met and now we have to say goodbye. Alright, it's getting a little bit too intimate for my liking. All the people of this world are saved thanks to you. <coughs> Thank you, boy. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to pat myself on the back too much. That was fun, Kane. Let's meet again sometime. We can meet as many times as we want. Kane. Bye. What's the world like there like? It looks like things will work out here, but what about your world? Will it be alright? Hey, other world. Be good to... You know what, I'm, 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 I'm just going to stop. Thanks. Goodbye. 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 Thanks so much. Come back sometime. Thanks for everything. Kane, we'll meet again sometime, right? Don't forget us. Goodbye. Thanks. We sure had a lot of fun, didn't we? Thanks. I did not like hearing my having to read out my real name so many times. We got our quirky cast of characters. Why are we? Come on with their stupid names. Light and fuel. Put that timber down. Never mind. I don't remember this music whatsoever.
I don't remember ever seeing that. Al girl. Ali girl. Whatever her name is. Or that scamp person. I actually have no clue who either of those people are. I remember Nippolite though, only because he had a funny name. Yeah, I don't recognise half these people. I know Reggie though, he's a cool dude. Oh, that was her name. I thought her name was Love Monkey, which was really stupid. I'm glad she has an actual name that is not stupid. I'll be seeing a lot more of him in the Earthbound playthrough actually. Dr. Andonos. Because he's a pretty important character in that as well. It's never really explicitly said how he ended up in this game. It's probably implied that Pocky like kidnapped him and travelled through time with him or something. Because this game and Earthbound are like a massive, massive amount of time apart. Like, you know, tens of thousands of years. most of these people you've got. Especially this one at the bottom. show Locrio and like explicitly show who Locrio is, the last evil Magipsy. Oh yeah, I guess that's as good appearance as any.
Ew. I don't like seeing their lips on the front. Yeah, I was about to say, it's weird how they show like the Pocky butt for Pocky. Never mind. My favourite character, Flint's doorknob. It's probably the most consistent character in the game. Because it appears in pretty much every chapter, I think. Well, it is at least mentioned. Oh, staff credits. No one wants to watch the boy in staff credits. Who cares about the people who made the game? Nah. Anyway, so... All the staff credits are on. Um... I'm gonna do an Earthbound playthrough next, which I, I probably should have done first. And um, it's not like it's not as good as this game, but I've beaten it twice and it's really good anyway. On its, you know, for its own stuff. So I'm looking forward to that. I mean, it's got a, it's got a pretty decent amount of ties to this game. This game doesn't really like. This game doesn't really show many like ties to the previous games, except for in the very last chapter where it makes them like where it makes them explicit with like Porky and everything, who's an important character in Earthbound. Oh, and these are the melodies from Mother One. Maybe I'll do Mother One at some point as well, but I wouldn't bet on it. These are the melodies from Earthbound. It would have been better to just make the uh, masked man fight its own separate fight, uh, its own separate video actually, because I can see now that it clearly would have been long enough. And this video is going to be way too long. It's already an hour and ten minutes. Hey, that's my name.
So that's the actual end. Okay. So that's it for today then. And I'll see you all next time for um, when I do my Earthbound playthrough. So that's it for today.